Hey, what's up guys? Matt here, Acoustic Selection. Hope you're doing well with your Wednesday word today. I, I want to talk about something briefly that I feel like sums up the entire Bible. When, when I study the Bible, when I talk to other, other believers, other non-believers, and, and, and reflect on what I feel like God intends for us to do, how he intends for us to live, this is the conclusion I personally come up with. I think God made man, like it says in Genesis 1, 27, in, after his own image. He gave us free will. Why he chose to do that, I don't know. He could have made us robots um, and could have made us serve him and created us to, to like I said, be very formal. But he gave us all uh, gifts and, and different talents and, and size and shapes and colors and made us all unique. And the Bible says we're fearfully and wonderfully made. But one of the things... Um, in that free will, I think God wants to see, are we, myself and you, going to give him the credit? Do we know our role? In my opinion, that sums it up. Do you know your role? That's why I try to tell myself every morning and every night before I go to bed, do I know my role? That when God blesses me with all these things, God, it's not for me. It's, it's about you. This life's not about me. Like the Bible says, he must increase, I must decrease. It's not about me. When things go wrong, turn to God and say, you're my heavenly father. God, you got to fix this. The Bible says, cast your cares upon the Lord for he cares for you. So immediately I take on this, this role of, you know, there's another part in John talks about letting the Holy Spirit, uh, Christ abide in us. He works through us. And I, you've heard me say on this channel, I want to be a, a channel of God's blessings, not a reservoir. So I immediately take on that posture that what God does for me, he doesn't do it just for me. He's intending to do something for me that I can spill it out to other people. It's important to know. I know my role to know, my, to know well enough that if blessings come my way, he didn't intend it all for me. And so many people, if we can drop the pride, Bible says God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. If we can drop the pride and know that he must increase and I must decrease, it, it, it's a certain, my brother and I are talking about this, it, it, it relieves you of thinking, um, for one, it relieves you of thinking you're all that in a bag of chips because you realize you're not. You realize you, you're here today, gone tomorrow, vapor in the wind. We don't know if we live to be an, have an awesome, healthy life, live to be 100 or if I drop dead when I leave here from this video. Um, you, you don't know what the next day holds, so you just wake up and say, God, give us this day. Thank you for this day because you provided this day. You see what I mean? The posture says, thank you for this day because this breath I'm breathing now comes from you. You acknowledge God, our Father which art in heaven, I'll be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. That's when Jesus taught us to pray. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done. It, it makes all the difference in the role. Know your role. So, so many times if, if I get caught up in my worries and, and I got all this stress and I said, Matt, know your role. The Bible says, seek first the kingdom of heaven and these things will be added to you. Cast your cares upon the Lord if he cares for you. He must increase. I must decrease. Commit your works unto the Lord. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Lean not into your own understanding. It's not about me. Once it started clicking me that it's not about me, it makes life a lot easier. That and don't get me wrong, I'm like anybody else. If blessings come away, man, I'm so thankful if it's financial, relational, friendships, uh, influence, uh, power, anything. It's awesome. And it's, it's a good responsibility. Encouragement from you guys, all that stuff is great. But I still have to remind myself always to know your role. If things are going amazing and, and let's everything clicking my way, that's awesome. Give God the glory. If things are going wrong, say, my Heavenly Father knows that. He says the very hairs on our head are numbered. Not a sparrow falls from the from the ground from the sky, and God doesn't know about it. You think He doesn't know about your cares? Are we not more important than a sparrow? Not a lily in the field dies that God doesn't know about. The Bible says. You think He doesn't care about you more than He does a lily in the field? So today, the the summary of this is just know your role. If you can sum up the Bible, know your role. Know that this life He gave us is a blessing. It's a um, People say it's a gift. That's why they call it the present. I love that quote. And, and and just understand highs and lows depend on God. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. It, it'll, help, it'll help you in so many ways in life. 
and uh, help you simplify things. So that's your Wednesday word. Know your role. Like I said, I speak my weaknesses, not for my strengths. That's why I've got tons of material for videos. Help us to be a blessing for you. Check out AcousticSelection.com and subscribe if you haven't. Have a great day. God bless you.